Since our country house application is looking awesome and working absolutely fine with every details, it's now time to work on the map. So, uh, American Somalia doesn't have map. Okay, let's try. <laughs> Yeah, so maybe that uh, that is a problem with that country only. Okay, so when I click on this show map, I want to move to another screen and where we are going to give the location on Google map. So first thing, let's create a screen here and I will simply press control and enter here and create a file called country map dot dart and stateless widget and make it a bigger and i'll say country uh, map simple and because we need to import material package it is there and then from this country dot dart we can simply say whenever we click on this country card so i mean i can simply add this with a gesture detector and then I can say on this gesture detector we have an on tap inside on tap I will say navigator dot off context dot push and pushing to material page route and this one will have a builder which will give its own context and then we want to give the name of the screen so which is country map this one like this and giving the comma various places and at last a semicolon cool so on tap we are moving to different screen which is this one and inside this i will have a child called text i will say hello but uh, what if I need to give a scaffold this is app bar app bar title is a text and here comes country name and this is good okay so click on show map yeah we are on the country name and make sure we have a consistent color of app bar so yes we can give color here so background color colors dot it was pink yeah it is pink so yeah convert it to pink but in the next episode or maybe later we will see how we can add the theme for our application so on the main dot dart we are going to define the theme and that we can use all over the places in our application okay that's good and inside body i'm going to show the text and i will say map is on its way <laughs> so map is on its way and let's grab google map how we can grab again a simple package so go to uh, pub.dev simple this website and here search for google map flutter make sure you type google map flutter and that is for the flutter not for the all and make sure you grab this one only the google underscore maps underscore flutter this one very important to have this one okay so let's grab the installation and now we are very familiar with the things how we can do that so on the pubspec.vaml i will paste this save this file get packages close this file okay so we have done that and now we need to create firstly the google api key so this is the well uh, this is the url so let's click here and we are here on this google map platform and here if you can simply say get started uh, you need to sign in if you have not signed in click on this maps we are just searching for the map thing and here it's loading and yeah okay so here we can create a new project and i will name it country house click on next and now it says set billing account for country because uh, map will require some kind of billing it just need to say set account it doesn't require any card or anything okay so we are done with uh, the cl uh, google cloud platform and enabling all the seven api for google map 
so enable google map platform and yes we got the key so we need to grab this key and where we need to put this key let's go to documentation it says go to main manif and android manifesto i'm not talking about the ios we will see how we can do this on the ios later just for the android we will see it is very important to search for the android manifesto inside main then for the manifest application use this one okay so search for android manifest and inside the main but very important and here we have application here we have a manifest then we have an application and after this application we need to put that thing and let's copy this one from here and paste this this is the google map api api comes here don't put that here it's just saying that i want google api so value will come here so that's cool and save this file and it's very important to stop this application and then restart and that's done so what next so after doing that we just need to use this google map uh, widget so we can use it okay so here we are on this text map on its way so i will remove this one from here and i will say google map and yeah it is there so make sure you import this because when we import this we can have all these details so google map require initial camera position so initial camera position we need to give so initial camera position and for now i can grab the initial camera position which google give just like this so they are giving creating a final static camera position k google plex uh, i don't know why they have named k google plex so this is done and now what we can do we can simply wait for this gradle to complete and then we can go to the application and see our google map application is ready so let's go inside any country it doesn't matter uh, we can show click on show on map and it says initial camera position is null is not true hmm so initial camera position let's see what they have given so initial camera position k plex hmm. okay so on map created this also has to be there i think so on map created on map created that means we need this controller so completer comes here import this file and let's just see let's go back click on show on map and yes now we have the map here and yeah it's loading the map congratulations you have successfully integrated map so it's steps was very easy grab this uh, uh, package simply then go and create your api key paste this thing on your android manifest then ready to use this google map widget in the next episode we are going to see how we can play with this map and actually show the real location of every country so we will do these things in the next episode and if you want to learn these kind of cool things follow bitfumes on facebook twitter and instagram if you are enjoying these episodes and this uh, application building then you can share this video with your friends we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye